Greetings. High five. Notice this, this right here, the hand, right? We talked about the, the cube in the last one. We talked about the, uh, the Kaaba, right? The hand, the five points, right? And I was showing you the astrology of, of Saturn to the black cube, because Saturn's like the black sun. This is all um, the belief. It's in there. Why do we? Uh, everything in with education, law, is honored into Saturn. That's why your gowns are black from the priest to the judge. Black gowns. What are the priests set on? They set on an upper. Right, they're above the people, the pulpit. They say they're pulling you out of the pit. I say they're pulling you into the pit, reverse engineer, because that's what's been happening with dogma, right? And then we, if you know anything yet about law, you know that it's uh, maritime law, and it's the law of the sea, and we can go into it, break that down, and share that in the future. But anyways. It was very good. I'm just trying to add more to it as I've seen it because I, after I was done, I was, God, I could have added more, but I need to look into it more. And I may do that, but I, Black Cube just stuck out to me. Saturn, because that's Saturn. Saturn is considered the Black Cube. There's an aspect of the geometria in Saturn or the geometry in Saturn is the Black Cube. But let's get started. We're going to do, we're going to decode a, a song and do it a little different. We're, we are going to play the video today of this song. Uh, a little bit worried about copyright, so I will stop it and start it. I'm going to break down this song when we get started, right? We're going to break down this music, and we're going to go in on it. Uh, how many of you ever, heard, ever uh, maybe not know, especially some of you older folks, know who Tom McDonald is? Tom McDonald is an independent rapper, very hot on the, on the, uh, the last few years on the independent circus, actually the number one independent artist right now by volume of what he sells and what he does. He's very much uh, not negative in the fact that during the process, what we've seen the last few years, he was putting out stuff that would be considered more freedom and choice against the volume of negativity, or he would be more pushing, uh, really showing you liberalism and what it produced in the sense that wasn't going on with it, right, in the other side. But his last two songs, he's kind of, and there were songs before that he would say it, but this one really is going to hem in how, we'll get into it. Let's just go ahead and get started. I will be in and out stopping it because there's probably a lot here. It's only a three minute, 45 seconds, but there's a lot said here. I've already, I've seen it just once on the day. I used to listen to Tim McDonald, but automatically, let's make this a little bit bigger to let's automatically look at the fact that we see a blue tom sweater and a red tom sweater again this is tom mcdonald and uh so we're already seeing the there's two sides but it's both him so let's get into it I'm the one that you hate for making America great. And I'm the one who's trying to build back better. We ain't the same. Yeah, you're right. There's a difference. Y'all are woke and we're awake. What a joke. There's white privilege. <laughs> so see, right away, Tom, which if you never heard him before, and some of my listeners here may have not, especially the older ones, he, I actually get a kick out of his videos. Is he's a truth teller. He's not wasting what's happening in the hood and the drugs and the promoting drugs, sex and, 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 and stuff. He's actually trying to wake people up to what's going on in the system and he's independent he's not working under any label and not getting paid so he doesn't sign the contract everything he does actually his girlfriend is a, is is one of the best producers ever so it, they produce their own stuff he's got other people family members it's a family he's created a family business and uh, family members doing other stuff that promotes what they do uh I believe the first day this had, I forgot how many views, but uh, it's actually his last record and last songs he's put out have been number one and in, in always in the top two or three, even above them that are the radio playing signed artist. So let's go, let's listen some more. 
privilege have something to say? Yo, president, drove the country into the ground. The crime rate is through the roof. There ain't no jobs to be found. Inflation going up, my kids need food in their mouths. You put the fake news on every TV screen in my house. Hold up. Your president, a racist homophobic, tried to overthrow democracy and everybody knows it. He will never make America great again like the slogan, he a white supremacist, just like all of you who voted. That is not facts. All you woke morons do is talk trash, drag queens in classrooms, hit anyone who's not black. You're pro white. And if you notice that he's definitely, I said, red and white, so he's actually, it's the song was called Me Versus You, but if you notice, it's him versus him in the in, in this little battle that he's got going on, on the political genre on both sides, but it's not going to be who's proving anybody, you know, this is very powerful, uh, uh, very powerful. White, you know that's what the clan members are, right? You're anti-LGBTQ, then why are they always on your mind? Bro, you're a boy, you're a girl, stop playing stupid. You're screwing up the youth and all the children are our future. You don't care about the kids. Look at all the school shootings. You're pro-gun, it's your fault. Stop making those excuses. You think anyone who don't agree with you is just a bigot. You're a fascist, you're a Nazi. You're just mad because you trigger. You're just jealous of the left because we're progressive and we're winning. Now I'm tripping that you won the election because you rigged it. They put you on the left, they put you on the right They tell you what to hate, then they tell you who to fight Till you're screaming Screaming They put you on the right, they put you on the left They tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you screaming Screaming If you notice, and I'm gonna break for this Because the, the, this is actually very good on this part he, he he leaves to break down. This is all about a division being played on both sides. He takes off. He's in this other scene. He's not wearing red or blue. He's wearing all black. He's got a jacket on. And he's explaining that we are the division going on amongst the people that they got us checking who's right and who's left and got us screaming, I hate you, which is the divide and conquer mentality that Tom's pointing out here. When you read this is esoteric stuff that he's really telling you in the allegory is he's saying this is me and me versus you but it's really you versus you it's the people versus the people while them who proper you know push this agenda the divide and conquer which is not a new agenda it's very ancient very ancient use the divide and conquer the folks it's it, it's a sad thing that we people still fall for it that's the sad part about it but tom's very descriptive when he goes into breaking down the middle ground of what is happening in this war of and he, they're both screaming at each other, top of the line, I hate you. Division, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And then he says why it's they got us pushing the this agenda against each other. My president draining the swamp, we building walls. Your president opened the border for one and all. Now there's murderers and criminals evading the law. Walking right into America, our safety is gone. Well, my president ended pandemic, saved the economy, and introduced legislation fighting for our equality. His son smokes crack. I don't care about that, honestly. He's raising all our wages. He can't raise his children properly. You obviously pro-life. A woman's choice is your right. I feel like abortion is important, and you don't like. You're treating it like birth control. You're treating them like your wife. I said that all lives matter, and I also also meant unborn life. You're so clever. Go ahead, make your little memes while we're bringing home the soldiers who were in the Middle East. Okay, you brought the soldiers home, but then you burnt the flag and took a knee and left the men who fought for all our freedom homeless on the street. Build back better. There'll be violence and riots until you Bible thumpers learn to fall in line and trust the science. We ain't ever backing down from all you pedos and tyrants. The right is fighting the system, the left designed to divide us. And that is clown talk. All you got is mean tweets. It's free speech. Call the cops. Dog, you defunded the police. This country will be better off without all you freaks. This is America, home. Me. If you don't like it, you can leave. They put you on the left, they put you on the right. They tell you what to hate, then they tell you who to fight. Till you're screaming, screaming. They put you on the right, they put you on the left. They tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you screaming, screaming. No president will ever give a damn about the truth. It don't matter who's the winner. Facts, Tom. Will always lose. No president will ever break the system from inside. It's a deep state plan dividing us into sides. It don't matter if you're left, right, black, white, red, blue, conservative or liberal, rich, poor, me, you, Republican or Democrat, old, young, mean, cool. They promise us our freedom, but then all we get is free doom. They put you on the left. They put you on the right. They tell you what the hell. He spit it. He went right back to the not red and not blue time, the inner time to get the full coverage, get a degree, get another observation that we talking about here.
we're talking about esoteric knowledge. And he's telling you, you're supporting one. They Same side, same bird. Same side, same bird. And I get why people on the right fell for it. Because we've seen nothing but dumb dumb for four years. And it's just these stupid agendas that don't make any sense, right? And now we've seen what's happened out of it. But the reality is, it's the same clown show. Because I've said this for years because I knew this. I kind of felt living in the state I live in, I kind of fell for it a little bit, even though I knew better. Because it got so whacked here. I live in California. Wackadoo. Facts. Uh, politically. But we know that we're the powers within us. They're drain we need to drain the swamp, all the political agendas. And you fill you up. But Tom's really bringing when he cuts into this thing as he's playing the right and he's playing the left on himself on all their points. But then he says, they're playing you. They put you in the left and they put you in the right. They put you. They divide you they, and so they can conquer you. And in the middle, he comes out knowing and saying, this is what the real clowns are doing. They're pitting you against it, but they're both clowns. That's A1. That's rap to me, Tom, because that's bringing things that mean something, that are figuratively mean something for the change of the people. That's good stuff. That ain't low vibration dookie. A lot of it has been. So, yeah, really appreciate this. Let's, let's finish this off. Then they tell you who to fight till you're screaming. Screaming. They put you on the right, they put you on the left. They tell you who to hate, they do anything to get you screaming. Screaming. Most people have no. All right. Uh, that was the first time I did a share. The reason I wouldn't do it is some of the songs that I even broke down is because you can get tagged for uh, copyright. Uh, uh, and sometimes it will be X'd out, blocked out, people will X or block it. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. That's why with some of the mainstream artists that I've used or all, what we broke down now has been all classic rock. I didn't use the video of the song. I would use the, uh, um, the just the lyrics because we're in our view, but Tom's not mainstream. He's not under contract that maybe it'd be okay to use his, it should be okay to use all of them because they're there. You can watch them on YouTube. But for some reason, the copyright, it's just a powerful song. It's called You Vicious Me. I've, I really listened to Tom a lot over the last seven, eight months. Um, uh, and uh, some of his other songs like that he has, if you want to ever go check out Tom, you'll be su pleasantly surprised on the content of bringing unity and uh, really pushing out agendas that he has done uh, in his music of rap, right? Because this is new stuff. Um, getting, uh, being number one on the charts without being in the system is what he's did multiple times the last few years. Rated in is exactly is the number one considered independent artist. He's not under anybody's uh, thumb, which, Tom, but I had to do this because he can't, the last few songs came a different angle. The last, some of the songs really supported more traditional right because it was so far left. But the last few songs, it's more like none of them are for you. And that's really the wholesome truth. And I really started looking at that even more and more because I was frustrated in California with how I've seen how stupid, I mean, stupid things have gone. I mean, it's still stupid here, but I know you guys feel the, the, the financial crunch everywhere, but it's really stupid here in California, stupid. But anyways, um, uh, um, very much thank you for this. This was uh, Tom McDonald. Uh, me ver uh, you versus me versus you and I really like the way he did this I like the way they generated him was blue and red uh, politically and then him in the black and the gray coming in and weighing the middle and explaining how both of you are being played which is all Tom very excellent good job Tom very good job very creative you guys have a great day this was the esoteric breakdown 
All right. Done with a video for the first time, just not the lyrics. All right, you guys have a great day.